I will always be thankful for AUA. It was the first school that gave me an opportunity to practice medicine. When I went to Antigua, everything was very comfortable, both the lifestyle and the level of education was extremely high. I love going here. I love my classmates, I love the staff, and the culture that you experience here is just amazing. Your housing has been organized for you. You know, my apartment in Antigua was bigger than my apartment in New York. Being in AUA housing, you literally are surrounded by AUA students. I really enjoy being a part of the AUA family that we've developed here and getting to know everyone. Antigua has been a wonderful place to study. On top of the obvious gorgeous weather and surroundings, the people have been incredibly friendly and kind. And to have the state-of-the-art facilities on campus, I couldn't have asked for a better medical education abroad. The teachers are there for you. They're there because they want you to do great on the boards. They don't want you to be mediocre. The teachers are so down to earth and they, they walk around. I think it's an amazing way to teach because you get to interact more with the students. You're more personable. They can approach you easily. Teachers expect a lot from you and I liked that because it made you want to be better. It made you want to get the honors in the class. It made you want to get the 230 or above on step. Our groups are small, so we get to work very closely with the instructors here and sometimes we have a lot of peer-to-peer -peer interactions. My classroom lectures is really linked towards what I learn in the lab. We have the Harvey and the Simman, which are basically simulated patients. You can listen for different heart murmurs. You can actually feel the pulse. He'll talk to you, his eyes will open and close, he can become unresponsive. It gets to be pretty realistic at times, for sure. When you start out, you have class for four hours a day. All the classes are actually recorded, so you can rewatch them, rewind them, slow them down, speed them up, whatever you need to do to make sure you get all the information that was taught in class. When you get to your third and fourth year for your clinical rotations, they give you the opportunity to come back to the U.S. and rotate through some of the top institutions in the hospitals in the country. AUA prepared me very well for rotations because we take foundations to clinical medicine and introduction to clinical medicine while in basic sciences. You study um, how to properly do a physical exam and how to properly approach patients. So every day I apply those techniques while in rotations. You know, one thing in, in medicine that I've noticed, it's, it's always a team-based approach. And AUA prepares you well for that. You know, through our rotations, you work with all different kinds of people, different cities. We picked Global MD because we not only do we get to come to the island two weeks early, but also because we get to learn about healthcare in a global aspect. There are different types of healthcare systems, different types of health challenges throughout the world, and as physicians, it's critical for them to understand these systems and what impacts health in different countries. Any physician in training um, should actually get exposed to it. Part of the training happens on the FIU campus in Florida. So once you can achieve reaching that far, you get to learn how so much more about research, doing the FIU program there. This program is a FIU clinical clerkship program. We are evaluated by FIU faculty. We are going to receive our transcripts from FIU. Because of that, it looks better on our resumes. I've had the opportunity to be a part of a plethora of clubs, including student government and the Educational Enhancement Department, in which I've been teaching and tutoring, which has further strengthened my education. And I've been a part of the medical fraternity, which has been able to actually provide community service and funds towards local community members in need. When I'm not studying, I usually just come here because it's just peaceful, you know, you can clear your head, you can just get like a good workout. You got pretty much everything on campus. One of my favorite moments while I have been a student here is Taster's Day. Different student organizations will kind of perform. It's basically just a, a time for us to all kick back, relax, have a good time. I get the most patient interaction with internal medicine um, and infectious disease even more so because you really have to delve into a person's history and when you get to help them, it's, it's really a blessing. Right after medical school, I did two years of uh, research fellowship at Massachusetts General Hospital. That helped me get a general surgery position at Mass General Hospital. 
After two years of general surgery, I was able to match it into the um, LSU's uh, Integrated Plastic Surgery Residency. Like everyone else, we thought this was a small storm. Turned out, my hospital was in the heart of Hurricane Sandy. We were completely flooded, and it was an amazing experience. I really got to test my clinical training skills that I obtained through medical school and through residency at that point, along with my hands-on skills. And it really takes a sense of confidence to be stepping up in that time and taking charge. It had its challenges because being in charge of all of the family medicine residents cannot be always easy. But it certainly gave me plenty of experience working with physicians throughout my residency program as well as other residencies that were at that hospital. Cardiothoracic and vascular anesthesia is, is not just a focus on the heart and the lungs, but on the most difficult kind of patients. What I choose to do is to take care of these same patients after surgery and before surgery. Uh, and this allows me to have some continuity of care. AUA is in the same schedule as any U.S. medical school. So you're following the same curriculum. You're following the same courses. You're also following the same guidelines. You're writing the same shelf exams. You're doing the same rotations. There's really no difference. 